Good morning, I'm John Moody with Some Small Farm outside of Irvington, Kentucky. And today I wanna to teach you how to keep my favorite farm animal, the only one I've ever found that thrives on neglect, worms. IBC totes offer a low cost opportunity to make worm compost at scale. Worms and IBC totes on our farm have been able to survive temperatures as low as negative 30 degrees and as high as 110 degrees. Juice bars and similar establishments have large amounts of waste that is actually quite problematic for them to handle. They're usually more than happy to see a farmer take these waste streams off their hands. A tumbler allows you to harvest large amounts of worm castings very quickly. You'll take that finished material, you'll dump it into your sifter, and you spin. Do you see that segment that's raised? Slightly different color. That shows that a worm has reached sexual maturity and can reproduce. When we purchased the farm, there's this rundown house and a broken down barn. So over the course of the past seven years, we've been slowly renovating both as time and resources allow. The high tunnel was our 2000 15-16 project. It operates with drop-down walls for ventilation. We're able to have grown and harvested by mid-May to late May all sorts of crops. One of the reasons we love this farm so much is it's completely sheltered from industrial agriculture on all sides. So not only does it make it a really beautiful secluded property, but it does take that one headache off the table since it is so protected and insulated from some of the damaging effects of modern agriculture. During my time of master's work, I became really, really ill. I developed full-blown digestive distress that hospitalized me and required all kinds of things. You know, I had this realization that this can't be the way things are supposed to be. I can't be a 23-year-old male who's gonna be in and out of treatment and on all sorts of pharmaceuticals for the rest of my life. If you're always pressing, oh, we're gonna only eat food from our own farm, if we're only gonna do these, you know, really high-end crunchy type things, you're really gonna burn yourselves out or you're gonna burn your spouse out and be really hard on them. You need to build slack into the system and be gracious and realistic with what you can actually do. I'd love when I look back that have helped thousands of other people be successful in pursuing this lifestyle.